and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and today I am still drinking cider. Uh, I just bought more, so get used to it. Now this week, we are going to be doing two different painting techniques. Um, we're still doing techniques that I've never tried before, but this time we're going to be combining two of them to hopefully come out with a really cool looking painting. So, if you're interested in seeing what they are this week, please stay tuned. So the two techniques we are going to be trying this week. Um, first, we're going to be doing a pendulum pour. Now we're not going to be doing the version where it's like a giant tray and we swing and it dumps all the paint onto the canvas. Um, we're going to be doing one that just involves a cup. I'm going to come up with some sort of apparatus to attach these up overhead above the canvas and we're going to fill it with paint and we're going to swing it and it's going to come out with some super cool kind of geometric pattern on top. But I did notice while doing some research on YouTube, watching other people do these, that a lot of the designs end up with like a gap in the center um, with some kind of hole or negative space in the middle while the cup swings around. And so that brings us to the second technique, which is going to be a flip and drag. <laughs> now this is very similar to when we've done um, just a flip cup pour, where we take the cup, put the canvas on top, and just dump. Just dump the paint and it goes where it goes. This will be very similar to that, but the idea is to kind of drag the cup in whatever direction that you want and hope the paint follows. So we're going to be doing the flip and drag first underneath, and then we will be doing the pendulum swinging portion uh, over top of it. So we're just gonna dive right in to the flip and drag part. I've got a similar color scheme to colors that we have used before. I have a dark purple, uh, copper, metallic -y copper, and some red, and some white. And we're going to put our colors in this cup. I'm gonna center it, but kind of center it along the top. And as I flip it, I'm gonna pull it, and it's gonna pull the colors down with it. So we're gonna have, like I said, some color in the middle, and then we'll do the pendulum pour around. I am going to start layering my paints into the cup. I am keeping some of the white to do along the sides. All right. So I've got it down where I want on the canvas. I'll wait just a little bit to let kind of all the paint start hitting the bottom. And now comes the fun part the flip and drag. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm a little nervous. The plan is to just pick it up and kind of sweep it down. So let's see if I'm capable of doing that. <laughs> can kind of get the paint to move.
gonna go ahead and hit it a little bit with the heat gun. stretch out some of these cells by moving it. It's got some awesome cells happening over the edge of the white. So I think this will look super cool once we've got the uh, the pendulum part as it swings around the edges and kind of will have something, some kind of color in the middle. But for now, we will let this set for just, just a little bit so it's not soaking wet. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly dry for us to do the pendulum over top. However, I don't want it to be like dripping wet. So we'll let this sit for a couple of days so it's not too soaking wet. And then we will do part two, which will be the actual pendulum. Now for part two, our pendulum pour. <laughs> I have got my rig all kind of set up. Um, I have a very long piece of string that is hanging from a nail. Uh, out of my ceiling and we have let's see that is attached to a carabiner which is also attached to three different strings I just used a hole puncher punched three holes into the side of my cup to kind of make you know it's, it's split up into thirds and I tied strings to it so it's evenly balanced um, in addition to that, I punctured a hole in the bottom with a screw and then I taped over it. So that is obviously why the paint is not leaking everywhere right now. Um, and we will remove that when we go ahead and start swinging. And also along the bottom of my cup is I have some screws. They are taped around the sides of the cup to give it a little bit of weight. Inside, I already have my paint all mixed up. I used a little bit of pouring medium, but also a lot more of water. Uh, we're not, you know, looking for any fancy cells or anything today. We're just, I want the paint to be thin enough that it runs out of the cup, out of the hole in the bottom and onto the canvas. I don't want it to be too thick because then I don't, it's going to come out kind of not chunky, but it'll come out a little bit more spotty, I think. So I wanted to thin it up just a little bit. Um, let's see, other things we've got going on. I have a large cup. What is this? This is a quart cup, but it's bigger than my red solo cup. And when the paint gets close to the end or when I'm thinking that my design is finished, the plan is to scoop up my paint cup with this cup. If you just kind of grab it, um, you're likely to end up with paint splattered everywhere and kind of ruining your design. So I'm going to use this cup to kind of scoop it when we are done. I've got my uh, spin box laid down so we can catch most of the paint. So right after uh, I said we were gonna get going and uh, using the spin box, I pulled the cup back to start swinging and it ran into one of the edges of the spin box. And I don't want that 
I don't want the, the sides of the box to disrupt the pattern at all. So we very quickly changed lanes and are now just using some plastic along the bottom. Okay, we're gonna give this a go now. Where's... Okay. So all it's really doing is making a line, and I don't like that. There, I did a bigger swing going a different direction. close to the center, so I think I'm gonna scoop it now. Well, I'm a little bummed. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of a lot bummed. Hmm. I, I got the liney pattern that I wanted, but it kind of also lines up with the design that we put down previously. It's kind of hard to tell it's just like so fresh and shiny. I think I'm gonna add some more paint to this cup and we're gonna try it again because I don't know what else to do. So I'm gonna unhook my cup from my apparatus. Unhook my cup from my apparatus and I'm gonna refill, refill it maybe with a different color. So although it's spinning, <laughs> spinning like crazy right now, um, I put a different color in there. It is a metallic purple, similar to what's happening underneath in our uh, in the actual pour that we did. And we are gonna try this again. We're gonna try it coming from this direction though. looks crazy ridiculous. <laughs> it's all all sorts of crazy just covered in lines. Maybe I needed a bigger canvas. Maybe that was where I went wrong. Because I don't know if you look around if you look at the <laughs> at the plastic sheets they've got cool patterns on them. It's just not on the canvas. We will let this dry and we will see if it still looks <laughs> like a total hot mess by the time it's done drying. Okay, you guys, so I have some bad news. Um, I made an impulse decision to scrape off all of the uh, pendulum pour paint. And <laughs> Uh, I was just too disappointed with how it turned out and even looking at it when we were done, when I was done filming, um, I hated it. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was I took a bunch of the leftover paint and I painted the canvas a different color. So now we have this going on. I took the remaining paint and yeah, the paint that I scraped off, it created a beautiful kind of magenta-y color. Um, and I hope you guys don't feel like you wasted time <laughs> watching this video uh, because I feel like I learned a lot. You know, obviously this was a technique that I had not tried before. That's kind of the whole point. But every once in a while, you know, they don't turn out the way we want them to. So even though this project kind of ended up being a bust, 
Um, I hope you guys learned from my mistakes. Uh, I definitely did. I'm not entirely sure if I want to try to retry uh, a pendulum pour, but next week we will be doing something with this uh, new magenta canvas. So if you have any ideas or any suggestions, please drop them down in the comments below. All of my links are always down in the description box below for my Instagram, my uh, Facebook page, and my PayPal account if you feel like contributing to the channel. You know, look at, look at Instagram, look at some of the ones that turned out better. <laughs> I will see you guys all for the next video.